We have made the trek up here to Springfield, Illinois to visit the Lincoln home <laughs> here at the National Historic Site. So this is pretty interesting. So Abraham Lincoln's house is right here. And apparently this is a nice big, um, you know, square here with a lot of historical uh, significance that we're gonna go and check out. And what's really interesting for us is that we just recently got to see the, um, it was the childhood home. For and Abraham, the birthplace. The birthplace and the childhood home yeah. when we were down in Kentucky. So this is gonna kind of complete our little, I don't know, um, our Lincoln tour. Yeah, the Lincoln tour. <laughs> I'm sure there's other things to see like in Washington, D.C., yes. but this is pretty cool to get to see uh, where he lived and I believe where he worked from as well. Yeah. So ready to do this? I am. I'm excited. We'll bring the camera with us and uh, show you what Abraham Lincoln's home looks like. All right. So we're at the Lincoln Home National Historic Sites. We've got our cancellation book yes. ready to add some more stamps look they got five stamps here yes it's really cool so let's do this actually i'm going to start with the uh this is the big boy we got the, the yes. lincoln home right yes. here i'm going to put it right up here hey look how cute lincoln that home is. national historic site yep all right, then we'll go around. And... It's the home. Let's see. I'm gonna put it right there. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I don't remember what the NHA National Historic. I don't remember what that one is. All right. And we have. This is the Junior Ranger stamp. Gotta have it. Yep. Yes. Junior Ranger. Okay. We're Junior Rangers. Yes, we are. And then this is the uh, Underground Railroad. We're definitely National Park geeks for sure. Yeah. There we go. So that should be all of them right I there. I love the house. Oh, that looks so cute. All right, so we are going to take the uh, tour of the home. It is uh, free, but you do have to pay for parking here, by the way. $2 per hour. And they recommend two hours here to see everything. Yeah. So there are some other places like the Dean House that are a self-guided tour. But you can uh, freely just walk through the park here and uh, explore it at your leisure if you want. I did see a sign that um, like motorized scooters and stuff are not allowed in the house. Um, so, I don't know about wheelchairs. Oh, we'll, yeah, I don't know we'll if it's accessible. Out. Yep. Some of them are, though, because there's the signs on the map that they are. This anyway. This one, I think, has really steep stairs, so. Okay. All these houses here are witnesses to Mr. Lincoln's legacy. Original from 1860. When they first purchased the house in 1844, so it's a lot like that little structure and a half. They'll get that for about fifteen hundred dollars at the door in a half structure. Wow. And they'll build it on up. Build it on up until they reach it. Made us all their purchasing power and design. Welcome out the slide on it, everyone. Please stay in the parlor space, so please step back into the parlor space. Go backwards. <laughs> unit working for the betterment of their family and at their feet they roll the boys playing with their toys 
giggles and laughter filling the air. Mr. Lincoln's getting up out of his chair. He's going down to the ground to wrestle and roll with his children have a grand old time. And he is such a skilled wrestler that, that he will be inducted into the Wrestling Hall of Fame for his ability. What you think so far? That's really cool. Yeah. I like the uh, park ranger. He's, he helps paint a really he's, good picture. Yeah, he's very good at it. Yeah, Sorry. he likes it. So this is the... Uh, this was the parlor. The sitting room. The sitting room, okay. Now we're going to go upstairs. So this is um, original. Yes. They did point out that a lot of this, uh, like the wallpaper and the carpet and the, uh, the curtains there have to be reproduced. Did he say that this was Abraham Lincoln's bedroom? I think it's a guest bedroom. I think oh, that's okay. what he said. This is where he is able to rest and to work. In the corner there, that is his original 1844 writing desk, where he could have worked on the house divided speech, that great worker to propel him into the national spotlight. But as such, he is working on a lot of different elements. So this is Abraham's bedroom. This is his original writing desk. Yep. Oh, Oops. someone's off the carpet. They said if you step off, sounds the alarm. center on that stove there, the Royal Oak, model number nine, 600 pounds of cast iron, Lincoln original to 1860. It is a working beast. Mary Lincoln loves that stove. She wants to take it with her to the White House. Abraham says, let's leave the stove here so we may return to Springfield. And in so doing, it takes on a note of tragedy. None of the Lincolns will ever again live inside this household. As they depart for Washington, D.C., Mr. Lincoln will rent out this property, following which Robert Lincoln will inherit after the tragedy of Four Cedars. All right, quick look at the uh, the oven. So he said table. this was, this is original? Yeah, this is original. And it's 600 pounds. Yeah, and, <laughs> and uh, Mary, Abraham Lincoln opted to leave it here and yeah, not Mary take it. Yeah, Mary wanted to take it with her because she loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. That's awesome. Well, that's our tour of the home. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right. So what's your thoughts? That was really cool. I mean, it's amazing how much is preserved and how good of a job they did recreating some of the things that obviously cannot last, like carpet and wallpaper. Yeah, so. yeah was, they pointed that out. They Everything that was not original, they um, they pointed out, uh, but they try to preserve everything the best they can and uh, try to keep it as original as they can. I'm and, really glad we got to see it. And I think yeah. the fact that they preserved the neighborhood is incredible. So. It is, it really is. So we'll check that out next. We'll take a walk through the neighborhood and and see some of the other historical homes here. He did, he did point out that this neighborhood this was on the edge of the city yeah. back in the time when they were developing this. Right. Although now you're right in the middle of downtown. Yeah. So it really does, it really does look great here. The uh, the park ranger was awesome and yeah. he was very informative. Very, yeah. 
So they did not have any running water in the house. They did have an outhouse. Excuse me. We're gonna take a little stroll down the middle of the neighborhood here and just look at some of the other old historical homes. This is the kind of fence that we need in mm -hmm. our house. <laughs> oh yeah. I wish I had one of these all the way around, but the city won't let me do it. <laughs> I know. Yes, he did ask. We did Yes, find I out. did. <laughs> No can do. No can do. You want to go in this one? I'm going to go in this one, yeah. Okay. Another museum? Mm hmm Okay. I'm going to show in what the what the structure actually looks like. That's really cool. Yeah. Look how pretty the floor is. Oh yeah, you can see the original wood flooring down there. I think this is going to conclude our little visit here to the Abraham Lincoln home. Oh, no. Got some screamers over there behind us. <laughs> Poor baby. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's going to be it. <laughs> I can't help it. It's funny Sorry, to me. It's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. It fits my video perfectly. <laughs> so anyway, we got some screamers behind us. But this is it for our tour, tour here at the Abraham Lincoln home. This has been great to see and kind of concludes our little tour of all of the Abraham Lincoln yes. homes from his uh, birth to boyhood home to where he lived as an adult and uh, worked. And where, they're all different Where he became and all president. Cool. Yep. Yeah. This is awesome. So. I really liked seeing the writing desk. Yeah. He might have written his speeches from there. Yep. That's, That's what amazing. they were saying. He very well could have written many of his uh, speeches right there whenever he was campaigning to become president. He's so interesting, my goodness. He was a very interesting man. Yeah. A lot of, lot of uh, respect for him as a president and what he did for this country. Yeah. That's it, we're gonna get out of here. Let's go get some lunch. We're gonna go find some lunch and enjoy the rest of the day here in Springfield. And then from here, our journey continues further north. So we'll see you at the next, the next site. <laughs> <laughs> Screamers. <laughs>